Sup guys, welcome back to another video. It's uh, it's going to be a cracker. Well, I hope it is. It's a running back. His name's James Connor. He's listed as playing for the Cardinals, and for whatever reason, when I think of James Connor, I think of the Steelers. I don't know if that's right. I don't know if it's wrong. All of that and more will be revealed. Here we are, number 80 on the list of the top 100 NFL players for 2022, James Conner. They're going to go Wildcat with Conner, who takes the snap. Conner runs left. He's down to the five. I love a bit of Wildcat, actually. Look, we're six, minutes, six seconds in. Um, probably about two minutes into the video, and I've already paused it. But what I will say is that the first time I saw Wildcat, or the first time I actually yeah, saw it called and put the name and the, and the play together was when Adrian Peterson did it in his comeback game last year. Pretty sure it was for the Seahawks. Might be wrong. But uh, I don't mind a bit of Wildcat. You put the running back in at quarterback and give them free reign to uh, make something happen. I love that play. Because things like this happen. For the touchdown. That's what James Conner has brought to this football team. He's brought that toughness, that downhill running mentality. And James Conner, the bull, baby, would not be denied. Where's Aaron Donald when you need him? James Conner is a guy that I admire on and off the field. Uh, he has a book, and his story is amazing. I mean, you always love to see guys that have been through things, you know, and have overcome, you know, adversity. You know, you, it's hard to root against those guys. The challenges that he went through in college. And okay, there's either a death involved or cancer. Coming into the league, man, he's like, he's, he's, he has like unstoppable heart. James Conner's story has been well documented. Overcoming cancer in college to become an NFL starter. Yes. After four years with the Steelers. And that would be why... I see him as a stealer. He began a new chapter last season in Arizona, where he continues to rewrite the book on perseverance. He actually reminds me of Jared Hayne. He really does. He reminds me of a slightly younger version of Jared Hayne, especially being in that red um, uniform. Uh, it might not be the 49ers, but it's close. Appearance. He's like one of those guys, like, you can't bring him down easily. He's going to fight for every single yard, and he fights for everything that he does. When you have a power back like that, it's very intimidating. And even for a defensive end like me, you don't want to tackle that. I don't want to tackle James Conner. <laughs> I mean, the guy has legs like tree trunks. And to see what he does, like, it kind of reminds you of what Derrick Henry does with his stiff arm. Oh, get off me. And again. James Conner looking like Derek oh. Henry right there running the ball. Tell you what. Does look like Derek Henry. Both the defenders do too. You just don't want to stick your face in that. It's, it's, it doesn't seem safe. <laughs> he will bloody your face trying to tackle him. Because he doesn't look the biggest. I mean, he looks about 6 foot, 220 odd pounds. 6'1", 233. Pittsburgh from 2013 to 16, picked up in the third round with pick number 105 in the 2017 draft. Two-time Pro Bowler, 2018 and 2021. He's been used both along the ground and through the air, it seems. 3,054 rushing yards, 1,338 receiving yards. Two playoff games um, in his career. Sadly, both have been a loss. Connor has always been known for his toughness. Everything we work for, yes, we have to earn it. Yes, we sir. have to earn it. Come on. But in 2021, he displayed a new explosiveness that resulted in a career-high 18 touchdowns. I don't know that anybody 18 knew touchdowns. how athletic James Connor was when he came here. I mean, some of the catches he's made, and holy some of the play, shit! I should have looked at that. The catch? Incredible. That was leading the league in rushing touchdowns with 15. What an incredibly oh, sorry, lead, leading the league in total touchdowns with uh, with 18. Yeah, my bad. What have I missed? Well, did anybody knew how athletic James Conner was when he came here? I mean, some of the catches he's made and some of the plays, some of the runs after the catch, incredible. 
What an incredibly athletic play by James Conner. This is the part of James Conner's game that nobody on the offensive side of the ball saw coming. His ability to be an they might as well hit him with something. Incredible receiver out of the backfield. Ah! Oh! Just what he's been Look doing. Look at that. What he did. In stride. One hand to catch. This season in particular. I mean. Should they hit DeAndre Hopkins as well? Kyler Murray. Chandler Jones on the opposite side of the ball. The rushing touchdowns. All the touchdowns. The one hand to catch is running people over. I mean, hopefully you guys play this. You're showing this as the highlights because... <laughs> this guy should be an all-star. He is you an all-star. I'm a huge fan. I love that guy. I'm not surprised Chandler Jones loves him because when the defense goes off the field and the offense comes on and you've got a guy like James Conner with the, the sheer toughness, I mean, that that's not taught. That's something that cannot be taught. And obviously, with the things he's gone through, um, yeah, he's going to be pretty damn tough. He's a running back. I love my running backs. And with that being said, let's get into the next video. Number 79, Rashawn Slater. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you soon. Peace.